Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Mohammed Yusuf. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Decree 6 of 2022, stipulating the following appointments at the Ministry of Interior Brigadier Jassim Mohammed Al Qatam as Coast Guard Commander, Brigadier Abdul Aziz Abdul Rahman Al Dostri as Assistant Under Secretary for Exit, Search and Follow Up, and Brigadier Nasser Sagran Naimi as General Directorate of Guards Director General. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Sheer Palace the Israeli Minister of Defense, Benny Gantz, who is currently visiting the kingdom. His Majesty the King welcomed the minister and his accompanying delegation and reviewed with him bilateral relations, the course of cooperation and the means of bolstering in it in various fields. In light of the supporting peace and Abraham Accords declaration signed between the two countries, His Majesty expressed aspiration that the visit will contribute to boosting cooperation and joint work to serve common interests. He noted the importance of building on the peace accord signed between the two countries to support the efforts of establishing peace and achieving stability, security and prosperity in the Middle East for the progress of its countries and people as well as that of the world. His Majesty hailed the signing of a memorandum of understanding during the visit. He affirmed that Bahrain's approach is based on establishing the values of understanding, dialogue, tolerance and peaceful coexistence, which is the best means of achieving the aspirations of people for peace, growth, prosperity and that the Kingdom support supports all endeavors aimed at achieving just, continuous and comprehensive peace as well as development as pros and prosperity for the interest of regional countries and according to resolutions of international legitimacy. The two sides also discussed a number of regional and international issues of common interest. For his part, the Israeli Defense Minister expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for the warm welcome and generous hospitality, hailing the course of bilateral relations in various fields and His Majesty's interest and keenness on developing them and the signing of the Memorandum of Understanding. He asserted keenness on strengthening friendship relations, wishing Bahrain and its people further progress and prosperity. Deputy of Commander-in-Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa also received the Israeli Minister of Defense Benny Gantz and his accompanying delegation in the presence of Minister of Defense Affairs Abdullah bin Hassan Naimi. The two sides discussed topics of common interest regarding instilling peace and stability in the region and the world. During the meeting, a memorandum in the field of military cooperation between the two countries was signed. The meeting was attended by the Under Secretary of the Defense Ministry, Major General Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, and a number of senior BDF officers. Officers. The personal representative of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Environment, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, stressed that the Council is keen on implementing the directives of His Majesty the King by focusing on achieving sustainable development goals and dealing with environmental and climate challenges to protect human and the environment. 
His Highness said that celebrating National Environment Day on February 4th under the theme We Preserve the Climate to Preserve Future Generations aims to highlight the issue of climate change, which has become a global environmental concern that requires deep cooperation to combat its effects. He stressed that the climate change has become the most prominent issue internationally and the world has become more interested in finding serious solutions to reduce its effects. He noted that Bahrain is among the first countries to sign the Paris Agreement on Climate Change and the Montreal Protocol on substances that deplete the ozone layer. The kingdom is also one of the first countries that believed in the need to protect the environment and reduce the effects of climate change on the planet. These changes became tangible following the rise in temperatures in various parts of the world and the increase in natural disasters across the globe. His Highness said that the Council is working hard to achieve the goals announced by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister during his participation in COP26 in Glasgow. His Royal Highness had affirmed Bahrain's commitment to reach zero neutrality by 2060 and to reduce emissions by 30% by 2035. His Highness called on government institutions, private sectors, civil society institutions, citizens and residents to enhance the efforts of the Kingdom towards protecting the environment from the effects of climate change through cooperation, solidarity and investment in sustainable development. He also encouraged demonstrating the principles of social responsibility towards environmental issues. His Highness Sheikh Abdullah affirmed SCE's pride in supporting environmental initiatives and sustainable development programs and its readiness to strengthen cooperation between various sectors in order to unify and boost national environmental efforts. The joint Bahraini Emirati satellite Light One was successfully launched into its orbit, and a new Bahraini achievement added to the research and scientific record. On the occasion, the National Security Advisor, Commander of the Royal Guard, and Security Secretary General of the Supreme Defense Council, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, affirmed that the vital project for which qualified National Bahraini Cad Rays contributed enhances the status of Bahrain in the space sector. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. I take this opportunity to congratulate all who were involved in the successful launch of Light One, the first Bahraini space mission in collaboration with our brothers in the United Arab Emirates, contributing to peace and progress in the space field and emphasizing the Kingdom's determination to achieve His Majesty's vision in this prominent field. Light One marks a milestone in our history and a successful step forward for a Kingdom's space effort, paving the way for the realization of Bahrain's space ambitions. I believe we now have proven we possess all the resources and talents necessary to expand upcoming space missions, along with the wise leadership who believe in those capabilities. We look forward to the future with a keen eye and steadfast determination to advance with confidence and willing to form a positive figure on the record of national and international achievements. Shukran. On the occasion of the successful launch of satellite Light One into its orbit, the Minister of Transportation and Telecommunications and Chairman of the National Space Science Agency, Engineer Kamal bin Ahmed Mohammed, affirmed that the support of His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister is the main motivator to make achievements. He held the follow-up of the National Security Advisor, Commander of the Royal Guard and Secretary General of the Supreme Defense Council, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, which was an incentive to exert further efforts and serve the Kingdom. The Minister expressed pride in the achievement in which Bahraini youth contributed. On this occasion, the UAE Space Agency Director Salam Al Qbaisi affirmed that the UAE will continue its space achievements. He added that the achievement of Light One is a significant achievement for the UAE Bahrain Joint Team, which is a result of exchanging expertise between the two countries as well as the UAE's efforts in enhancing its status in this field globally. Light One mission is to observe and study terrestrial gamma rays from lightning and thunderstorms. The data collected will be shared with the aim of benefiting from space science to support sustainable economic development at a global level and support scientific analysis to encourage cooperation with research centers around the world. 
The Speaker of the Representatives Council for Ziya Zain and her accompanying parliamentary delegation visited Wahat al Karama in Abu Dhabi, where the oasis represents an Emirati national landmark and a front for introducing the brave martyrs of the UAE and highlighting their heroic stories in defense of their homeland and nation. Zain al affirmed that the martyrs represent the highest models of sacrifice and a source of pride for their loyalty. She affirmed that the oasis embodies the highest meanings of gratitude for the martyr sacrifices to maintain the security and dignity of their homeland. Bahrain has strongly denounced the launch of three drones towards the UAE in recurrent flagrant violations of international humanitarian law. The ministry praised the efficiency and readiness of the UAE Air Defense Forces, which intercepted and destroyed the aircraft outside residential areas. The ministry affirmed Bahrain's support for all the UAE in all measures it takes to maintain security and stability and ensure the safety of its citizens and residents. It also called on the international community to condemn such heinous terrorist attacks that target innocent civilians and civilians facilities, posing a threat to security and stability in the region. The Kingdom of Bahrain is witnessing great developments in the human rights field with the expansion of the implementation of alternative sentences and open prisons program under the directors of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa. To speak more about that, we are joined over the phone by political consultant Dr. Ahmed Al Khazai. Hello Dr. Ahmed, can you tell us about the importance of the alternative sentences and open prisons program that is being implemented in the Kingdom of Bahrain? Yeah, hello. Uh, first of all, thank you for having me. And we'll start with the alternative sentences, which was mandated by His Majesty the King five years ago through law number 18 of 2017. Well, basically what it is, it's uh, a group of laws that compromises all of the different forms of punishment that a court can impose on a defendant after he's been convicted of an offense other than a jail term or even a death penalty. It's as well called community sentencing in some places or non-custodial sentencing. Uh, in my opinion, it is a power tool for judges and courts to impose punishment that is tailored to the crime and has the best chance of having positive impact on the society. Uh, and as, as well, I mean, uh, the uh, defendants too. Um, uh, part of what they are enforcing, I mean, uh, the, uh, uh, the, the judge forces a convict uh, into a list of alternative sentencing, such as we're talking about social work, uh, it could be a, a house arrest. Uh, uh, basically, he could be pro uh, prohibited from visiting certain places or meeting certain people. Uh, as well, he could be uh, uh, forced into signing a pledge not to be in contact with criminals or criminal or certain organizations as well. Electrical supervision, uh, rehabilitation, uh, rehabilitation program, or repaying for what he did. Uh, either it is in cash or doing the actual building. Dr. Ahmed, how does this reflect the development of human rights system in Bahrain and what social dimensions do such steps carry? Well, such dimensions, as we mentioned earlier, uh, if we're talking about the social, um, uh, let's say, um, the social security of the people, uh, everybody in every society want to see that any criminal is sentenced. Yet, as we said earlier, alternative sentences uh, offers uh, a group or basically um, a collection of, of uh, options for the, um, uh, for the sentenced, not to just be in jail and then maybe depending, uh, he could be young of age, he could be, uh, basically he could have just uh, committed a, a small felony, he could lose his job, for example. So he could retain his job, uh, at the same time paying back to society and doing his time. Political consultant Dr. Ahmed Al-Khazai, thank you for being with us. It was a pleasure.